Hey y'all, welcome to Wild Blue. We got some real interesting stuff this week. I think we got what y'all all been waiting for, the Las Vegas UFO crash and sighting of alien beings. That ain't happened too often, so when it does happen, y'all wanna pay attention. So let's get on into this and take a look at our first video here. Las Vegas police body cam footage of a UFO crash in the aftermath of discussing with the witnesses. The first video here comes from some body cam footage you see some sort of object fall into the ground. Let's take a look at it. Right, check that out. Some sort of green light falling down. Is it some sort of meteor? Some sort of atmospheric phenomenon? Or is it something else, you know? Could be some aliens forgot how to fly their craft. Crash it right into the ground. Maybe something shot it down, you know? It's right near a very famous testing ground, if you know what I'm talking about. They're near Las Vegas. They said they saw some fall from the sky. They checked the backyard and they saw some with uh, like eight to nine feet, no clothes, green, green colored men, uh, not human, with uh, All right, they're seeing some green creatures here. And ain't, ain't your regular little green men. These are your big green men. These guys are eight to nine feet tall with some glowing eyes. All these guys can describe it as is a creature. I think they were kind of hesitant to say it was an alien just because of the stigma associated with seeing something like that. The thing about this is it's a mass UFO sign. Look at all these people that have witnessed this. You got police that are generally supposed to be credible witnesses to something like this. You know, one of his officers, I think he'll mention here in a moment, saw something as well. We got bathrobe here going to show us where they went. Unfortunately, they block out the best part. Apparently, because it's on private property, they felt like they couldn't show the film. And this officer begins to start flagging people down to try and verify the story of the people who called 911 claiming they saw these creatures. Yeah. We got a call, and one of my partners actually said that they saw it too. So, if you happen to see any, uh, like, I'm not BSing, if you see any, no, like, if you see any, like, little, well, not little in this case, they're, they're claiming, uh, eight to nine foot tall green beings that were in their backyard. Sounds They're big and green. Like People seeing a lot of green around here. Uh, your neighbors, your fine neighbors over here. Uh, but again, I would normally discount it as probably not real. Yes. Uh, I'm not Sounds like these officers don't want to deal with aliens and you know if I were in their shoes I don't think I would either. How do you fight something if you don't even know what it is? You may not even want to fight it, maybe they're friendly, that would be the best case, but you never know, maybe they're up to no good out there. Maybe that's why they crashed their craft. They were doing something they weren't supposed to be doing. So definitely an interesting story. Story for the ages here. We'll have to see if more of these start showing up, you know. These UFOs have been in the news a lot lately. Just more and more each day. We've got all kinds of stuff going on. Apparently a whistleblower now claiming there's some more stuff going on. And if you know, anyone else comes forward to purport what he's saying is true, we may even discuss that on here. But until then, I'll just leave it in the ether and wait for more substantial evidence to come about. Next up, we got UFO knees no. Think that's how you say that? Knees no time. 12-7-2022, let's take a look at it. What we're getting into here don't look like a UFO, it looks like a helicopter. I did see something fly across real fast, let's watch it again. There it goes, real quick. I'm gonna slow this down so we can take a look at it in finer detail. Oh, they even got this in 60 frames per second, so we're in luck here. Get a little bit better quality than if we were to slow it down at a regular frame rate.
Here we are waiting. There it goes. What is it? You know, I'm thinking it's not something too strange. Let's take a look at that a little bit closer there. Step right back here. Frame by frame. You can kind of see it there. I don't know if I can stop it right on the helicopter, but it's in front of the helicopter there. So whatever this is, it's substantially smaller than that helicopter. So I don't think it's anything too out of the ordinary here. Maybe something that's part of a training exercise. You know, maybe there's something else just out of frame on the left side here that launched whatever this thing is. So I'm going to say this ain't something that's too out of the ordinary. Let's move on to our next one here. This one's called UFO Lands in China. All right, we got these people running through this park here or something like that. They're freaking out pretty heavily. What are they running to or what are they running from is the question we are getting to here. Looks like they're running to something actually. There, they, there it is. It's what looks to be a flying saucer that's landed here in this park. It's got what appears to be four legs supporting it on the ground. Now we got something lower and down. What do we got here? We got a, some sort of being stepping out. He's all hunched over and now he's standing up straight. Real skinny, but you know what? My best inclinations seem to point to this being some kind of CGI creation. Here you can see it again as it was flying in. Apparently these people claimed to have seen it flying as they were driving and they followed it. But is very obviously not real. Very obviously CGI. Look how clearly it's floating there. You know, they did a good job of having the foreground move around it while it's just hovering there doing the same sort of movement. It just doesn't look like it fits in quite right. I think the resolution's a little bit higher on the UFO than it is on the video for the foreground here. So then they see it landing there. And that's when we get to this point where they see the alien walking around and they're they're done with it and they take off. Pretty decently produced video, but it ain't real, so it ain't worth spending more time on. Alright, last one here for UFOs before we move on to the other stuff out there. It's another UFO sighting. This one doesn't have any sort of description as to where it is or who recorded it or any sort of other details other than a date of being posted of August 13th of 2022. Let's take a look at it here. We got some clouds here. The lights moving around in multiple directions. These red fireball looking lights. And what are they? I guess it's that, that's it for that one. We move on to something else here. Some sort of light shining down over what appears to be maybe an airport or a stadium of some kind. Another fireball UFO there. That one's pretty cool. Looks like it could be, you know, something a little bit more out of the ordinary. Doesn't look like it's CGI quite like that one we watched a moment ago, but nonetheless, it looks very interesting. I like the way it's shooting them lights down there. That's pretty cool. And then it goes on up. And boom, it's gone. It's moved over here now. I'd like to find some more details on this one. This one's pretty cool. Definitely some decent footage here. Is it going to launch off again into space? Kind of looks like it's preparing to. You know, it seems like a lot of times when, you know, we got this something that's more authentic, it kind of hovers around, it'll shoot off into one direction, hover there for a bit, and then shoot off into another before it's gone forever. So we'll move on to our next one here. Moving away from the UFOs, now we head into the ghosts. Spooky. Alright, so this video's been around for a long time, about 15 years. Early days of YouTube here. You got the guy walking around here filming here in his house. He's coming up to the door here. Does he know there's something behind it? Or is he just guessing there? Maybe he's seen this before. Maybe he heard it. There's the little translucent spirit girl crying in the corner. You zoom in, get a better shot of her. Then he closes the door. 
He looks back a moment later, maybe he heard something else. And that's when. That's really freaky there. You know, you got the little girl just standing there waiting for him, and I don't know. It kind of screams fake to me just because you see the girl there crying, and then it's designed to make you jump a jump scare video. And just that, for that reason alone, I, I question its credibility as being something that really portrays some kind of spiritual being. It may just be another sort of computer generator, or maybe even practical effect. Something along those lines that is just trying to get a good scare out of you and a good laugh from the people who created the video. Next up, we got a ghost pushing on a baby. You know, this real mean of that ghost doing this. Now, you see stuff like this. I've had several videos on here of these ghosts sort of harassing these children. Maybe they think they can do whatever they want since these kids can't defend themselves. Well, anyway, we got the recording here. Some sort of baby monitor showing the little baby there. Is this baby watching something? Or just sitting there. And the baby begins to cry. Right, so here we got the baby. She's just sitting there. Mom's on the bed there. Then boom, baby's knocked over all happened so quick that was insanely fast that was some real freaky stuff there pushed very forcefully it's one frame to the next no I don't know about that it seems like the acceleration on this child would have resulted in some sort of injury to it rather than you know something being there to push it down I would say more likely some kind of camera glitch as it was mentioned in the caption or maybe something else maybe we're being tricked again and we got two different clips here mashed together the mom sitting on the bed doing her thing there and then a separate clip of the crib that's cut to show the, the baby sitting up and then the baby on the floor of the, the crib there so take that for what you will and we'll move on to the next one all right, next up, we got the ghost of King Henry VIII. CCTV footage, real Hampton Court Palace ghost footage of Henry VIII from 2003. Maybe they can just tell he's a big old king. Henry VIII was a big king, not just in his stature as king, but in his physical stature, because he really enjoyed eating all the food that comes along with the wealth of being king of an entire kingdom. And you just got a couple images here. Is that the person moving that? Or is that the ghost? Doors bust open, you got some person standing there in some robes, and then the doors close. You know, I don't know about that. It looks like just a regular person opening those doors and then closing them. There's nothing too much that screams ghost about it. They're not moving through walls. They're dealing with the physical world as you and I would, whoever this person is, whether it's a ghost or, or whatnot. It just doesn't appear to be. I'm gonna call a misrepresentation on this one. It ain't what we're looking for. All right, next up we got some Bigfoot signs here. This one's called Bigfoot filmed in a cave. Cameraman scared to death, so we may have a ghost here as well. But you know what, the cameraman never dies. If you wanna be something, be a cameraman. You got them digging through this cave, pulling out the rocks here. And then they see something in there looking back. It looked like an orangutan. It moves out of frame pretty quick. Let's watch it again here. Let's see what we got. They remove the rock. You see the face right down in there. I don't know what they're saying. They're speaking another language. I don't think there were any details provided on this video showing where it came from or when it was filmed. It looks like it was posted in November of 2022. But without any sort of additional view of it, we just saw a very small portion of its head. It's hard to tell what exactly it was. Was it something more than just an ape? Was it a lost ape or uh, something else? Bigfoot, Sasquatch, what have you. All right, last one here is called, I'm not saying this is real, what do you think? I think this is another Bigfoot sign, so we'll take a look here and see what it is. 
Look, it's peeking around the tree. Got the Scooby Doo going on. It's hiding behind this tree that's not quite large enough to hide his body when he's behind it. Let's watch it again here. There he is looking around. You know, without any additional context showing them in the area, maybe approaching the creature or something before or after to show where it goes. You don't know what it is. It could just be their friend in a gorilla costume hiding behind that tree there. That's the things you gotta think about when you're watching these videos. If someone's trying to pull one over on you because you go and show your friends and saying you got video footage of a Bigfoot. You don't get laughed at. So you know, you don't want that to happen. So anyway, I think that wraps it up for this video. If y'all got anything you want to share as far as video footage of anything like we've just seen here, any pictures or even stories that y'all want to tell, send it to wildbluetvstories at gmail.com. Check out our website and check out our Facebook page. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that said, Wild Blue out.